So we're now Monday the 13th of February and the weather is still holding lovely. We can see we have blue skies and with a bit of mild weather here in the middle of February. Now it's a week now since uh, Boss Cow is gone and I'm just watching the new dynamics of the of the, of the cattle herd. Well, we can see mother and daughter are still grazing away there happily, the red, white head and her daughter. And we have the two Galloways that stick together constantly. Well, the little lady, anyhow, is always at her mother's side. Well, the new boss cow is now Galloway here. And to be honest with you, she seems to be a lot more settled in herself now that she's in command. There hasn't been any rows and there hasn't been any messing. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm pleased that there was no rows and things are quietening down. Now, if you notice now, I have my hay here spread out. I'm only after feeding. We're going to work our way up through the field. But if you notice, on the far side of that fence, we have that dose. <laughs> so she's still with us. Now I'm going to stop this video here now because I want to show you what's to carry on now these nights. So we're Saturday night the 11th of February and I'm a little bit late coming back to check my cow. I thought I was going to have a bit of a job to go searching for her and would you believe she's been walking around you can't see it now but around the field all day and I came up to either find her in a field somewhere lying down or if she's still standing to bring her back up to the scaffolding and I find her inside in the scaffolding lying down for the night <laughs> that's just unbelievable so she's been out around the whole farm all day long and she came back to go to bed where she's been put in every night that is just amazing well look I know cows can be trained to do anything well, that is just, I love it. So she's there now. I've given her her hay. I'm really happy. I have a feeling she could be up herself in the morning. Now, here's the thing. Last night, I left her in there and I didn't knock her. I left her, I left her standing and she was standing this morning when I came down. But I don't believe she lay down. I couldn't see any marks on her or on the ground. I think she stood all night. Is that possible? I don't know. I'm a bit baffled by that. But there she is there now, eating her hay. Massive improvements. If she's up in the morning now, I'm going to leave her loose. Because she's down anyhow. If she gets out, well then best of luck to her. But um, I'm delighted she came to lie under that scaffolding. That is amazing. Beautiful weather. Super mild. I'm delighted things have worked out this way so I'll add this to a video Jordan the week so I'll say good luck for now so what you've just witnessed there is two nights ago I had my scaffolding set up and the cow was out loose for the day and I came back that evening I was that bit late and when I arrived back to go looking for the cow she had made her way back up to the scaffolding and lay down inside the scaffolding. So she's almost known. She knows now that I'm going to lift her in the morning. Now, if I was to show you what she looked like this morning. If I was to show you what she looked like this morning. I'll be down in a sec, lad. You'd have, you'd have thought that she was never going to live or want to get up again. But as soon as she gets up now, she's walking around for the day. And she followed me down actually from all the way over here. There's a gap there. She followed me all the way down. Now you can see she's walking that bit slowly. But she came down and she's eating that bit of hay. Her manure is very, very loose all the time. But she's going for the drinker there now. Her manure is loose all the time, but it's not too bad. I'd like to see a little bit firmer. But... Uh, It's improving. So look, at very, very slow progress. So that is the cattle here now at the minute. The 
the weather is going to change now this week I believe uh, it's going to get a little bit more unsettled but it's not too bad at all ground conditions are good and firm here where I am this is a dryish part of the farm and now there's wet spots as we go up in the middle there and then dries again but we're doing okay we're the middle of February and we have lots of grass ahead of us so if I can uh, keep this going till March the middle of March we'll continue to feed the hay and a bit of growth will be coming all the while so that is the update of the cattle of that dose over there and uh, yeah so a short little video on the 13th of February right come on girls gaps opened now 14th of February you can see who's in front now look our Galloway cow and our lead cow is no longer even lead cow she's second come on so there's definitely a fresher feel to the day the wind is picking up a small bit I'm going to keep this phone covered <coughs> it's mild as well still so I can feel a few drops of rain coming now as well come on Maverick you're always last now so basically the situation at the minute is halfway through February the hair had been that bit smaller so we can give them that little little bit less of an area so basically we're on two days hay one day's grass well it's one day's grass and I'll top them up to hit with hay they'll always have access to hay although they haven't got it here just now I have to go and get it but um, so they'll eat this grass off today and I'll leave them with, with a little bit of hay this evening and they'll eat that hay I'll give it to them again in the morning and they'll still have that bit of picking when the hay goes they can go back and eat uh, whatever little bits of grass is left so this is what it's looking like after I take them off it so there's even still green shoots there now but they've been here three days now on this small little area so there's lots of dung and lots of urine and everything so this will be left rest now for over two months anyhow three maybe three months maybe but um let me just go in here now a sec you can see here now the kind of stuff that they're going on to now obviously there's a lot of frost damage on it it's gone yellow a lot of it but there's plenty green there too but if you go a little bit closer here now and i'm glad to get the cows in on it now and this is why i like this time of the year grazing we can see here that young rushes are starting to come up now if I didn't touch this field ever again this place would go completely back to rushes full of rushes you can see here now let me just show you all new rush grasses or whatever you call them all new rush plants sorry coming up so they're everywhere but the cattle will eat them at this stage but if they didn't they would get strong and end up like them so it's good to hit them young and uh, weaken the plant so a graze this time of the year now will weaken off them rushes and allow the grasses then to compete as the year goes on so yeah i'm going to close up this fence here now our cow our dose as i call her let me walk over here last night i came down she was still standing so i walked her back up to her scaffolding and she's still standing she didn't lie down you know she had lots of place to lie down there's a gap up there in that hedge you can see her there now she didn't lie down she refused to lie down that's her up there now I don't know what to do with her today now I'm on for actually making a bigger area of scaffolding and keeping her in I'll double up the width I'll use the long bars and make a complete square so it'll be like a 
a proper pin and bed her in it and give her hay because I want to dry her up. I don't know. Um, she's kind of at a... She's improved, obviously, as you've seen, but she hasn't really improved to the same extent that I want her to. I want her to continue to improve. She's kind of stalled again now is the word I'm looking for. So um, I'm going to have to uh, reevaluate that situation. But the cows are in here now and I think they're looking well. They're thriving now lately. Again, that little bit of grass now is definitely helping them. Even our red whitehead cow over there now. She's nice and filled out. Now my phone is acting the maggot again. There we go. So they're all filled out looking in here. So they're not hungry coming in here. They had lots to eat all day yesterday. Bit of picking and lots of hay. So I'll add this to yesterday's video on St. Valentine's Day. I might actually throw a little... Um, well, I'll make that for another day. I'll video the calves again the next time. I was going to stick the calves in, in here, the Waylands, at home. But uh, we'll show you them the next day. So that is the situation. A month out from calving. They're on the grass. Bit of hay. My cow is still standing. And uh, that's the situation. The wind is picking up and it's going to start raining a little drop. So I'm going to go home now and get a cup of tea. I have family home, so I have to entertain. So for now, I'll say good luck on the 14th, St. Valentine's Day, and goodbye.